Let's take another group, older people. I'm getting older. Age is associated with mitochondrial dysfunction, insulin resistance, and lipotoxicity. Because this group took individuals that were younger in their 20s versus older in their 70s. That was the only difference, age. They were similar for their weight, their fat mass, their lean mass, and body mass index. But when a group glucose tolerance test was done on them, the older individuals had higher glucose and higher insulin levels indicating that they were insulin resistant. This was also accompanied by them having larger amount of muscle fat and liver fat, and their mitochondria didn't function well because they were able to generate less ATP or less energy currency. Lack of data, but I think there is a lot of infer inferential information, even from my clinical practice, that statins cause insulin resistance. They poison the mitochondria by depleting CoQ10. And because they increase the VLDL receptor, it's a receptor that picks up fat from the circulation. When you take statins, your receptor goes up, so your visceral organs take up more fat and become fat toxic or lipotoxic. What is shown out here is that damaged mitochondria fuses with a healthy mitochondria in a process called complementation so that it can work better and not generate free radicals. In the middle panel, the mitochondria can segregate the damaged parts, divide into a daughter mitochondria, which is unhealthy, damaged, and a daughter mitochondria that is healthy, the damaged mitochondria can be cleared by a process called autophagy or mitophagy. With, in the setting of exercise, healthy mitochondria, they use up ATP. I mean, the body, when it's exercising, uses up ATP as energy fuel. AMP goes up. As ATP goes down, AMP goes up. And this gives a strong signal to the cell to start producing this master mitochondrial biogenesis factor, which is called PGC1-alpha. Well, you don't need to remember that. But it initiates mitophagy. Uh, it also initiates fusion, fission, and creates more mitochondria. On the other hand, if you have sedentation, lipotoxicity, or insulin resistance, you are creating a lot more of that toxic fat that damages the mitochondria. These mitochondria don't burn cleanly. They generate a lot of free radicals that can cause aging. And the toxic fat called ceramide can form a channel through which important mitochondrial proteins leach out and program the cell for cell death, resulting in muscle atrophy or sarcopenia.